Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, fuck! Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about an artist that we talk about all the time as much as we can, because we may or may not be in love with them. And of course, today we are talking about the one and only W. Heath Fowler. That's right, W. Heath Fowler. He's got a uh, you know new little uh, track and single that's uh, released and come out. But hold on, hold on. This is not just your average run of the mill track or release that you know you get dropped and get to listen to with your earpiece holes. No, no. This one is a complete tie-in, man, to an actual, uh, you know, book. And it could be a kid's book. It could be a, uh, you know, novel. It could be something. I don't know. We don't do research. That's your job. You're going to do it anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know, we don't know what kind of tie-in exactly it was. But it's a tie-in, man, to an actual, uh, you know, book with uh, probably, like, characters and a, you know, place and a, a setting or whatever and, you know, all the stuff that, you know, books have and stuff for all all of you guys that can read and such. Uh, you know, yeah, some great stuff, man, but uh, what a special treat, man. Uh, this kind of, uh, you know, ensemble originates, man, yeah, from an actual book and it's just mellow, folky rock, man. Uh, you know, like, there's aside from how it's tied into or how it was created or why it was created or written, Written, man it is just some good old-fashioned you know folk rock man that you know you can kind of just uh, uh put on man and uh, sit on a you know uh, a nice uh, night outside or something and uh you know stargaze and whatnot too and everything uh some definitely uh, uh great tunes and just sounds man that can really be uh if you're in the mood for them one of the you know kind of most relaxing things that you can put on and such and man uh there's there's a time and a place for all types of music and whatnot and this one definitely has one out there uh whether it's for you or not uh you know it's for someone and on occasions man you know we got such a broad diverse you know thing that we listen to and whatnot man we have our mood in our uh you know kind of situation where we're like perfect man throw that shit on and we'll uh you know rock out to that uh you know <laughs> it goes across the spectrum man all, all sorts of stuff uh but you know yeah uh <laughs> you know it's it's so relaxing, man, to listen to. Set up a rocking chair, man. Uh, you know, yeah. Sit me outside under the stars, man. Uh, you know, on a on a nice, uh, you know, uh, weather climate, uh, you know, kind of uh, controlled, uh, you know, situation and such, where it's not too hot, not too cold, man. Uh, you know, and I'm set. Uh, you know, yeah. Give me a you know cold drink or something like that and stuff as well. Uh, you know, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe a glass of a. Uh, uh, you know, cold tea or lemonade, uh, you know, but not hot tea, you know, cold tea, uh, probably. I don't know. If it was a chilly night, maybe hot tea. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It, the, the, the drink is irrelevant. Uh, it, it's a nice tune to listen to if, uh, you know, yeah, the mood strikes you in that kind of setting and environment. Uh, so there you go. Uh, w. Heath Fowler, Charlie's Song. What can be said about this one? Uh, it gets a uh, good old-fashioned uh, F.R. For uh, folky rock or something like that. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Listen to it. Don't listen to it. We don't care. We just want your money. So give us money. Have a good one, you probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.